the Pixel 3 has a serious problem. Get daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. Of course, show that gives you all the latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Uh, happy Monday. I'm gonna disappoint you. Bought an iPhone. Gold one. Gold iPhone. That's how you know uh, it's the new one. All right, so just a heads up, today's show's relatively easy, not a lot going on. We'll start off with story numero uno for the day uh, about the Pixel 3 and the iPhone, actually. So I've seen some stuff going around about a speed test uh, results between the Pixel 3 XL and iPhone XS Max. And this is not the first time we've seen anything like this. In fact, before the Pixel was even released, we saw sort of benchmarks and speed tests with this phone. Now, in the article written by BGR, they said that things aren't looking good for Google's new phone. At least if speed is quote unquote what you're looking for in an Android handset. Now, of course, for this speed test, they referenced a video from everything Apple Pro, uh, which, you know, that doesn't sound like it would be skewed in any directions. Either way, in that speed test, the Pixel 3 XL lost against the iPhone, but let's be honest, a lot lately in these speed tests, the iPhone has been winning out. I don't think this is necessarily directly related to the fact that this is a Pixel 3 XL. I think this might be more of a fault of Android. But listen, I bought the iPhone today. As you know, Google sent us a Pixel 3 and it doesn't fucking matter. There is not some crazy massive difference. Maybe in an everything Apple Pro video, if you put them side by side, and you do a speed test, maybe. But I'm telling you, we've used the phone as far as like fluidity and speed. The Pixel 3 is perfectly fine. There's not some crazy difference. And don't be disappointed. Don't listen to BGR. They're a bunch of heads. Uh, it's fine. It's it's effectively the same thing. Just don't put them side by side and you'll never know, baby. All right. Next up, as you know, Apple event, October 30th, new iPad Pro. And now uh, we got another leak of that thing before you actually see the thing for real. So here you go. Renders of the new iPads. Uh, nothing that we haven't seen before. We knew this was coming, but yeah, it looks good. It looks good. iPad Pro looks good. Still won't buy it. Let the record show that OnePlus moved their event because of that. October 30th, that's when we'll see these things. I, I don't care. I like, I have no fracks in the frack field for these iPads. What do you think? You're going to buy one? You interested? Kind of interested? Not at all? Let us know. Okay, let's talk about this Hisgate thing going on with the Pixel 3, Pixel 3 XL. Now, I'm not sure if you've seen anything about this. I haven't seen an article about this yet. However, uh, one of the creators in our community put out a video that I thought was relatively interesting because I thought our Pixel 3 unit was the only one having this problem. Turns out, nope. So Travis MCP put out a video last night. By the way, I will link it down in the description below. I highly suggest you go watch that. Also, he's a great creator, so be sure to subscribe. But effectively in that video, he demonstrated video recorded from the Pixel 3. Now, the fact that the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL have a subpar microphone in the thing, that's not a secret. We know that, we know it's not great. But this to me is, kind of, this is unacceptable. So here's actual audio from Travis's video. He first records with the Note 9, shows footage and audio from that. Here you go. Note 9, silent room, nothing going on. Here we go. And then we get video recorded with the Pixel 3. And in this, you're, you'll hear a hiss. Just check it out. Pixel 3, same environment. So as you can tell, it's definitely there. It is definitely not cool. Google, what the frack? And I know a lot of answers to this question are gonna be like, oh, you could use an external microphone. Shut up, shut the frack up. The actual solution to the problem for a product that you buy is never on the consumer. If the consumer has to fix the issue, that product is already lost. All we can hope for now is that either when you are using your Pixel 3, this does not deter you. This does not make you not want to record video because if I kept the Pixel 3, which I didn't, I gave it to Brian. If I kept it, I don't know if I'd feel cool recording video on it all the time. I'd probably 
not do that. This actually isn't the first problem. We've had a hissing problem with the pixels. Last year with the Pixel 2, people had issues with hissing sounds and clicking sounds. You heard this pretty much when you put the phone next to your ear. That's when it was easily noticeable. But in that case, Google ended up fixing it by rolling out an update. I'm not sure how the update fixed that, but it did. So considering that Google was able to fix that with software, we can only hope that they are able to fix this with software because this is unacceptable. You can't fix the shitty microphone part with software, but hopefully they can fix the hissing part with a software update. If not, it's a hardware issue and that's not okay, especially for the price of this phone. But is this hiss gate? Is it a gate? Is it a scandal? Ah, if it was an iPhone, maybe. Right? Of course, if it's an iPhone, iPhones are so expensive. This is a scandal. Apple, you're ripping us off. This is unacceptable. But when things were, when the gates were happening with the iPhone, I came out and said, this is not a gate. This is, this is not a big deal. It can be fixed. So I'm going to say the same thing about the Pixel. Assuming this is a software issue, this is not a gate. This is not a scandal. This is not a crazy big deal. Google, just fix it. Uh, microphone sucks a bunch of donkey dick. The hiss, though, try to get rid of that if you can. If not, if it's a hardware issue, uh, yeah, then we should talk. And now, today's sponsor. On the internet in 2018, you need to be prepared for everything. So if someone sends you a PDF and you need to edit it, what are you going to do? Print it out and draw on it, scribble on it with a bunch of crayons? No, because that's what I used to do. Instead, you're going to get PDF Element by Wondershare. PDF Element is a best-in-class PDF editor that's the perfect solution for anyone who doesn't want to shell out for the uh, the other thing. You, you know, Adobe Acrobat. And if you use our special promo code down in the description, you'll get a sweet 20% off just for being awesome. So be sure to check out PDF Element and huge thanks to Wondershare for supporting our community. Cool guy face. But Brian wrote that. Ah, I was supposed to do it, not say it. And that's the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did, hit that like button. If you hate my stupid face now, hit that dislike button. If you're new here, subscribe. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow.